Hey Matt, welcome back to Annapolis. Tell us a little bit about your uh, Summers Greenland expedition. Uh, tell us what happened and uh, what you accomplished. Well, after two seasons and uh, 11,000 miles, uh, we left from Annapolis, uh, went up to the Arctic, did about 2,500 miles of seafloor mapping, mostly about 800 miles from the North Pole, about 200 CTD casts for NASA's Ocean Melting Greenland program, did another 5,000 miles or so of ocean acidification research, deployed some sensors for Woods Hole, and did some first ever microplastic study of the Arctic Ocean. That's all. That's it. And so uh, now, finally, uh, we made it back. It's uh, somewhat limping back to shore, and uh, it is good. And uh, it's been a long couple of seasons, and I now have a few more gray hairs in my beard than I did when I left. But uh, nobody got hurt. Uh, the boat is still floating, and uh, and yeah, and we just have to get ready for another one in the future. Well, what was the what was the highlight of this year's trip? Oh, I guess now <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, I heard you got. Uh, I heard you, uh, was nice. I talk. guess you know the 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 far north uh, Greenland is uh, is a beautiful place. Lots of giant icebergs and pack ice. And uh, the mountains are covered with an ice cap, and there's polar bears and whales and seals and so on. So I, I guess that is, um, but that's a region. You know, we spent six weeks in that region uh, mapping out the seafloor. And we were there last year also for another month. So um, uh, I don't know if there's a particular event uh, that would be a highlight as in one day, but definitely the, the far northwest area of Greenland uh, would be a highlight, generally speaking. I did hear you got caught in a little bit of a blow. Yes, there was five storms. One was worse than the rest of them. But they were all between probably 50 and 80 knots, I guess. Um, an anchor will only hold you up to a certain amount. So I don't care what kind of anchor you have. It will only hold you to so many knots. And when it starts blowing hurricane force, uh, you can put out all the scope in the world and you will uh, drag anchor. It's a now, lot of fun in the Arctic. Uh, I saw on one of your blogs you put out these little uh, sensors to uh, count iceberg calving how did that work out yeah, it worked out pretty well we, we deployed the sensors we got most of them back not all of them um, we I I thought we should have chain instead of line and uh, we couldn't get that from the scientists we work with so a few of the lines were chewed through by uh, iceberg it was a very uh, dense ice area so big icebergs came along and cut a few of the lines but we did retrieve uh, enough back to prove that these sensors can in fact uh, count the calving activity of a glacier. So it was sort of a preliminary study. Um, but it went well, and the problem is that you could, uh, uh, where you deploy these, you can have 25 foot waves. When a uh, glacier calves an iceberg uh, in deep water, it's like a tsunami, in deep water you're only going to have a small wave. But in six, eight, ten feet of water, it actually sucks, and I saw it one time, it sucks all the water out of the region, completely dry, like a tsunami, and then a big 25-foot uh, wall of water comes in, smashes against the rocks. If you were in a dinghy deploying one of these sensors when this happened, you'd be dead. So that didn't happen to us. Um, but it is sort of a dangerous uh, project in that extent where you're trying to deploy sensors where there's heavy calving activity and giant waves crashing against rocks and trying not to get caught in it. But it worked well. And how about the uh, taking the water samples? <clears throat> Yeah, water samples worked out well. We just took water samples for both ocean acidification and some for the microplastics. Uh, that's an easy thing to do. Uh, yeah, you know, we did 48 samples uh, for the ocean acidification. We also run an ocean acidification device that's constantly uh, monitoring the amount of CO2 in the water, along with barometric pressure, water temperature, and other things. Um, but uh, but yeah, that that you know, it's just monotonous. You do it over and over and over and over again. But it went well. And microplastics is easy for that aspect. Dragging the trawl is different. That's, uh, you actually drag a net. You know, we got a lot of krill um, because there's so much krill in the high Arctic. Uh, that's why whales go up there. But, um, but yeah, it's, uh, it was an you know, interesting project. Well, is it good to be home? Yeah, I just got back. So now, it's, uh, now I gotta jump on a boat and deliver it to Charleston in a few hours. So I'm only back uh, for a little bit and I'm back out on the water. Uh, the same day I return, I leave. But, uh, you know, life of a sailor, I guess. Well, it's great to have you back safe, and uh, I will look forward to talking to you again. All righty.